approach. We're live here. Lauren, yay! Hello. So glad you're here. Yeah, let me just Hello, check all my other media and make sure we're good on Facebook. Um, let's see. I'm without my co-pilot today, so we're flying. Okay. We're flying by the seat of our pants. So, so glad to have you here, Lauren. And uh, let's see if we're in the group. Here we are. Yep, we're we're live, live and living. Excellent. Color. So, um, yeah, let's just uh, talk a little bit about purse strings. And uh, the mission of purse strings is to help women. Uh, be financially fearless. And the way that we do that is we provide them free online tools and resources to help them make smart financial decisions for themselves and for their families. But we also have this amazing list, cadre list of top tiered professionals who at any point in time, if they need to buy a house or uh, buy auto insurance or get a divorce or get married, whatever they need, we have attorneys, we have realtors, lenders, and we have amazing business coaches like Lauren LaForge, who's with yes. us today. And um, for those of you out there, Lauren is my business coach, and um, I'm so pleased to have meet, met her. And we have just great fun on our calls, and she gives us a lot of to-dos, and we follow, we hang on her every word, and we always say, after we get off a call with Lauren, we got to go plop a little bit because she's got so much energy. So, <laughs> so glad to have you here, Lauren. Um, Lauren is one of our Purse Strings Approved Professionals as a business coach, and you can find more about her on our Purse Strings site. Oh, look, we have Cheryl here, and lots of other people are giving you the giving you the love. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. So, um, I'm going to turn it over to you, Lauren. Um, so, take it away. Go ahead, do you want to share your screen? Yes, I will. So good to see you. Hello to everyone and hello, Cheryl. I love seeing all your comments. So this is going to be a fun session today. We're working on something that I'm super passionate about, which is helping people build their ideal life. Uh, so often we're living life on accident rather than living life intentionally. So I'm going to share with you my screen really quickly and Hopefully, I, I picked the right one here. Here we go. And we should be good. Are you able? Oh, it looks like I have to enable this. Okay, well, I'm just going to chat really quickly while I enable yeah. this. And um, and so the big question I always ask people, right, is what if life isn't 100% of what you want it to be right now, what would you like it to be? And so that is this question, essentially, of how can you build the life you want instead of accidentally living a life? So I'll share a little bit of my story about why I why this is a passionate subject of mine. So when I was, I believe we're able to show now, I'm just gonna present and we should be good. Can you see my screen? Yes? I can't hear you. I'm gonna stop sharing real quick. Did we lose? Yes, our we we're, we're I'm gonna um I'm gonna go off screen and then let you share. Okay. Okay. okay so perfect. when I'm off screen, you can't hear me. Oh, okay, no problem. Then I'll just keep chatting. That sounds great. Okay. So um, and I don't necessarily have to show the slides yet. So I'll tell you my quick reason why I am so passionate about this. So I was someone who was always an overachiever. When I was in university, I had to pay for college myself. And so I had the opportunity. Someone uh, approached me at my college campus when I was 18 years old and said, Lauren, would you like to um, make an average of $8,000 this summer? And I said, sure, I'm listening. And they said, well, you have you learn how to run your own business. It's straight commission, 14 hour days for six days a week, all summer long, and you're selling door to door. Uh, I said, sure, if I could make some money, sign me up. That sounds great. I found out that the top producer had made like 32,000 that previous summer. So I was like, okay, I had my sights set for a little higher than just eight grand. And I went out that summer and I learned how to sell, learned how to hustle, learned how to tap into that overachieving part of me who just wanted to um, see what I was made of. And I came back that summer, I ended up being number five out of 3,000 college kids. I came home with a $30,000 check 
And um, I was studying to be a teacher. So I decided, okay, I think I'll go into sales instead of teaching. I just made a teacher starting salary in three months. And so that's how I started into sales and business. But as we all know, right, our life continues to ebb and flow. So I did four years of sales. Then I traveled a lot throughout college because I thankfully was able to, to pay for some neat study abroad opportunities. And I found myself I with my husband, who I met on one of those trips. Um, I found myself when I was about 30 years old, 29, 30 years old, and we had built two businesses. We were exhausted. I was back to working 14 hour days, six days a week, probably seven days a week. And I felt like my life was all of a sudden being propelled by accident in a way that I didn't, I didn't want to be living. And I remember we were able to escape for a two week trip to um, Bali. Uh, we, were, we were able to go on a little adventure and I was coming back from that and I was in the customs line at LAX, I had my passport in hand, I was looking at the customs person in front of me, and I just thought, I don't wanna go back, I don't wanna go back into my, my life, and I just, I had this such resistance, and I remember I pulled out my cell phone, and I texted in my phone, it was the first time I started using my cell phone as my journal, my little, the notes there, and I wrote, I want to be able to travel where I want, when I want, and have the income to support it. And it was like kind of this mad declaration where I finally put this, you know, line in the sand and said, that's it. I'm sick of living a life that I don't love. I'm stuck in traffic, surrounded by cement. And I just wanted to be back on a scooter in Bali with nature all around me, having a life that felt more purposeful. So uh, that was a big moment in my life that helped me realize that I actually have control to build and live the exact life I want. I don't have to pretend I'm a victim stuck in this life that I've accidentally built for myself. So I want to share with you the process that I found for my own life, but also I've helped hundreds and hundreds of clients move through this themselves. And essentially it's four steps to build your ideal life. And um, does it happen overnight once you do these four steps? No, it, it is a process. Uh, it took me a few years to be able to sell the business that I was I was running, start to build a consulting business. And now for the past three years, I've actually been able to live in Airbnbs around the world uh, without fear of income and um, live out that exact kind of declaration that I had um, back when I was 29 in that customs line. So I wanna share with you today what those steps are and just to let you know, none of this is impossible, it's all easy, it's just us being brave to actually put it into action. So now I will share my screen so you can see what this looks like. All right, so here, here are the steps that I have found to be helpful. Okay, so hopefully you can see my screen here. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So it is time, my friends, to intentionally achieve the life of your dreams rather than being stuck in living a life by accident. Here are the steps that we're going to take to do it. I already shared a little bit of my story. So let's dive in. I've called this the ideal life map simply because your life is an adventure. And there's a phrase that I love from Helen Keller where she says, your life is either an epic adventure or nothing at all. And oftentimes we forget this. We just live that rat race we live the next 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 alarm clock next shower next meetings next next and we're just jumping next 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 and we forget to pay attention to what we want to experience and live in this one life that we have that we're blessed to live so here's what this map looks like essentially there's four main steps i want you to imagine you are wonder woman or bilbo baggins or, or any great um epic film and we're starting on this journey so we have four steps first as we look at our map, we have vision lookout points. So I wanna imagine you've got some binoculars. You can do a binocular motion if you want. Um, kinesthetics is helpful to remember past, um, different steps. So we've got our binoculars and we're looking out towards our ideal vision of what we want life to look like. We're taking the moment to slow down and clarify, which is that a, a, a bit of that moment when I was in the customs line. Second, we're gonna move to beliefs bridge. Once we know what we want, then we actually have to change our mind to believe that it is possible. Oftentimes, if we hold on to our old beliefs, we're not gonna be able to move forward towards our new life. If we believe that it's not possible or that we don't deserve it or we're not good enough, we have a lot of head trash of self-limiting beliefs that slow us down. So there's some absolute techniques to help us continue to move forward with beliefs. I want you to imagine you've got like this rickety bridge in front of you, and so we literally need to trust like, I can do this. I can cross this bridge to continue on this journey. 
So now, right, imagine Jumanji, you've got the jungle all around you. We're on this track. We know where we're going. We've got the map, but we're, you know, and we've got the beliefs now. And now it's this important part as we encounter trigger rock. And what this is, is triggers are important to help us start good habits and stop bad habits. Habits, ironically, are the, the huge part that help us to get to our ideal life. It's changing what it is that we're doing, what our actions are. Um, they, they, they decide our destination. So if we don't intentionally pay attention to some neat, some important good habits we need, and we don't see that trigger, we'll actually go off the map. So we need to pay attention and learn what are some triggers that can help us have good habits. So imagine you see the trigger, so then you grab this kayak that's behind the rock there, and you hop on the Good Habits River. So now we know what we need to do, picking up a one core habit that's gonna help us read our goals, and then we need to start rowing. So you start rowing, you start rowing, and you are building momentum. And this is a huge part. So many people, they know what they want, they believe they can have it, they know what habit or thing they should do consistently to get there, but then they don't do it consistently. And so this is a huge area of where I have some suggestions and tips and things I've noticed with clients that actually help them build that momentum so that we can actually drop through this waterfall of momentum and drop right into your ideal life. And I'd love for you to imagine you getting to your ideal life is kind of like that moment uh, in maybe, you know, like Avatar where you're looking around, it's just like glorious and euphoric and you can't believe that this is, is your reality. That's what we want your life to feel like on a daily basis. And it's totally possible when we're building intentionally towards it. So I'm gonna share with you quickly, what are some of the four steps we can do at these points? And obviously today's a quick version of it. And if you'd like more details of this, I actually have a mastermind where we move people and lots, especially women, through these parts to help them uh, feel confident as they're moving through. So let's dive into the four. First is a vision lookout point. Uh, I don't know how many of you out there have done a vision board before, but this was life changing for me. The first vision board I made was then when I was 30 years old and I finally sat down and I chose rather than always complaining what I didn't want in life. I actually picked what I did want. And so brainstorming your ideal future with um, some great questions to ask are what do you want to be, do and have in life? Another great question is what are you jealous of others? What are you envious of? What do you burn with jealousy? That is a huge indication that's something you want in life. And a third question to ask yourself is simply to say, how do I want to introduce myself five years from now? What do I want life to be and look like? In my mind, I thought, I want to have the ability to just buy a flight, hop on a plane, and go. That, that was this essence of freedom for me that I didn't have because I was running a brick-and-mortar business. And so those were questions that I found helped me to clarify my vision. Then you find images and you put them all into one place where you can see this and you get excited about and we want emotions to pop up about what this version of your future life looks like. And then it's important to put this up and have it be a part of your daily routine. So my vision board you can see here is actually on my phone. Oh, hold on a second. <laughs> I had a text come in. So my vision board's on my phone and it's on the back of my computer so that I'm daily reminded, this is the catamaran I want and I want to be able to sail it in, uh, in um, on all the Caribbean islands. Okay, perfect. It's on my vision board. I know that I'm gonna be um, living out that vision because I've clarified that it's something I want in life. So that's step one at Vision Lookout Point. Wanna know where the heck we're going. The second part, so now you're a police bridge. Once you have your vision board, you have it somewhere where you're able to look at it daily and you get emotionally charged and excited of what you ideally want life to look like. And literally, pick anything, choose anything. It is wild all the things that can come to pass when we recognize and we put them out there into the universe to, um, to pay attention and keep ourselves focused on those goals. Step two though, once we've created our vision, we might have those doubts. And so an important part in order to cross this beliefs bridge to be able to continue on this journey to your ideal life is first, it's important to capture your current self-limiting beliefs. So what I encourage people to do is actually get a journal and you simply write out this list of all the things you've been telling yourself, the trash talk you've been having to yourself, telling yourself why you can't uh, have a catamaran and go enjoy a, a trip around the Caribbean. Why uh, it's ridiculous to think that you could be making $10,000 a month, $20,000 a month. Why it's impossible that you could get out of debt. 
um, why you'll never be able to be at your ideal weight while you're while you're stuck at the size you are and you're only going to get fatter. We have all these beliefs that are holding us back and we believe them as truth. And so an important part that I, I like to say is when you write out the negative, even if it's mean and cruel, write it out because this is kind of like you flipping on a light. And if you've ever spent any time in Costa Rica or, or any human location, uh, sometimes if you are in like a little jungly spot and you turn the light at night in the bathroom, there's cockroaches and they look up at you and they're like, oh, oh my gosh, it's a, it's a human. And they go run and scurry to hide in, in the corners and, and escape the light. And that's what your negative thoughts are as well. So we want to bring them to the light because your negative limiting blocks thoughts and beliefs are literally just like little cockroaches. They're gross. We want to kick them out. And then we want to the second step of this is flip your beliefs to the new desired truth you want. What do you want to believe? Do you want to believe you're never going to lose weight? Or would you like to believe that you can lose that 30 pounds and you can you can feel healthy and strong and confident in life? Do you want to believe that you'll always have debt, credit card debt and you'll never be able to save for your future? Or would you like to believe that you have a million dollars saved in your investments and you're able to get residual income from those investments and be debt free? You get to choose, my friends, and it's you declaring in these truths um, of flipping the negative to the positive and writing out what do you want to your life to look like. And we want to support so that these beliefs are supporting where you're heading in life. And so write down the negative and then you'll simply flip a negative belief to be a positive belief. So instead of saying I can never uh, pay off my debt, we want to have the opposite belief that says um, but my money is my bank accounts are growing each day. I have an abundance of income and wealth in my life. Um, I'm a money magnet, right? And so we want to put those positive phrases that speak out that truth and support the vision of where we want to go. And then the third part of that is simply repetition, just like being at the gym. We need to lift these weights. And so saying your affirmations out loud to yourself, reading them every morning, just as you take the shower to clean your body. We need to read our affirmations and our, our beliefs that we want to be true. Uh, we need to read them daily to clean our mind and to bathe our mind. And so this is an important practice that helps us move towards our ideal life, believing what is possible. Step three, I know I'm moving fast, but don't worry, I have a ton of content on this that I can, I can help break it down slower for you. But we're gonna do simply the short version today. So step three is this idea of habits. And I don't know who has practiced or studied habits here. There are a lot of great books out there. Um, one that I especially like is uh, James Clear. It's called Atomic Habits and another one by Charles Duhigg. And it is called um, The Power of Habits. And so essentially, there's this thing that Charles Duhigg teaches, and it's called the habit loop, that every habit has a trigger, which I call trigger rock. Then we've got the habit and then we have a consequence or a reward that helps uh, still this habit in. So I would imagine most of us have, have learned this, but we don't realize how we can apply it into our life. And so um, we I just want to highlight this and we can go into to more details if you're interested, reach out. I have habit trainings that I can um, share with you. But essentially wanna analyze what are your current habits? What's hap making that start? What reward or consequence is, is helping um, imprint that? And if where you want to go is to make more money in your business, we realize that maybe a habit of yours is that we need to do more prospecting. For me, when I was building my, my coaching and consulting business, I knew I needed to have more prospects to talk to. I need to have talk to more people. And so a habit that I found that I needed to do was I needed to go to networking events, at least one networking week, event a week to meet new people, to then have a, you know prospects to talk to, and then be able to, um, possibly sell them into coaching and then and build my business. So my core habit was going to networking events. And the trigger that I had was, of course, I needed to set an alarm at 5 a.m. And I was not allowed to uh, hit snooze. I wasn't allowed to go back to bed. I had to be in the car by 5.30, drive an hour and a half to get to this network event, to get there at 7, to go and start this good habit. Was it easy? No. Was it worth it? Absolutely, because I had my vision in front of me that helped push me to keep doing this. And of course, I'm using the trigger and then reward and consequences. I had people holding me accountable. I had someone I had to pay $50 to every week that I didn't go to the networking event. And this pushed me to make sure I showed up. 
So we can use a lot of techniques to figure out what's that one habit that can help propel you towards the goal and that ideal vision that you're living towards. And obviously this can be with health. This can be with, with money, uh, you know, cl cl cleaning routines and purging and keeping yourself organized. Uh, we can do this in a lot of um, areas. Time management is another one where there's a lot of habits we can use. So there's a quick overview of we're going to be picking your one core habit and some techniques to use to support it. And then our very last spot essentially is this place I call Momentum Waterfall, a book I love and I highly recommend that supports this concept is called The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. And he talks about this, this part of just like you're pumping a well, you have to keep pumping. Although you don't see that the water's coming up, it is, we have to have faith. And if we just keep pumping, we're going to have a flow, a stream of water that will be flowing if we don't stop pumping. And this tends to be the one of the, the largest areas where people stop. So if we imagine, right, we've got our kayak, we're, we're rowing, they stop rowing, they never get to the waterfall, and they're not able to plunge into their ideal life. And so um, there are definitely some practices to create consistency in your, in your new habits. Um, one big plan I have is making sure you're tracking it somewhere. And everyone works differently. Some people, it's a journal. Um, for a lot of people, I have them track in Google, like a Google Sheet. And you have what you want to be tracking. You have what your goal is. And then you you do the X that you did it or how many prospects you called or when you worked out or what your calories were for that day, whatever, how much money you saved. I have a, a savings tracker for myself because that's a, a goal of mine. And, and so we want to be persistent. Whatever you want to have increase or, or whatever we want to have grow and improve, we want to track it so that way we can stay consistent. And then I encourage you, plug into some accountability. Let someone know what it is that you're running towards so that they can check in with you and hold you accountable to actually doing the action and doing the tracking so you can see the momentum build. Uh, so I know this sounds like a lot, but when you break it down, it ends up only being these four steps, knowing where you wanna go, believing that it's possible, uh, making sure that you know what it is. What's that one habit that will support you reaching where you want to go and then doing it consistently is the last step. So um, if you have more questions about this, and obviously I, I teach a lot of other content <laughs> about time management, and referrals and sales and all, all of that fun stuff. Um, but if you're interested, uh, that's what I do. And I love helping people. And I do have complimentary coaching sessions. So if, if you're someone who says, this sounds interesting, um, I'd like to hear more. I'd love to get a chance to help you. Um, and, and then we have courses that are self-serve courses you can sign up for that move you through this and also have great mastermind groups so you can plug in and get connected with other strong, powerful women who want to get unstuck in life and get towards their ideal life as well. So you're, you're not alone in doing it. So let me know how I can help. But that is what I wanted to teach you today. Barb, I'll send it back to you. Is Barb here? I'm here. <laughs> I'm yeah, managing awesome. the technology. Well, that was, great. again, whew, a great, powerful, a <laughs> and energized session for sure. Um, and I've been on the other end of it, so I know how powerful they are. So, Lauren, tell me, um, give me a success story. Oh, yes, absolutely. So a client of mine, ironically, she's making her new vision board um, right now. She just sent it to me. Uh, we had a session this morning. So this is a client I've worked with for probably four years or so. And when we first started working together, she was a realtor, brand new in her industry, well, two, two years or so in. And she had had a fair level of success, but she had a ton of debt. She was recently divorced. She was, um, you know, renting a pretty expensive condo that she had kind of gotten into quickly because as they were, you know, she moved out of the house and, and accidentally got into this expensive lease. And she had a lot of pressure um, on her plate. And so when we started working together, we identified her vision, what she wanted. And I, what I love, one of the things on her vision board was she put it, she wanted a little house with a front porch with a swing and she wanted to be able to sit on the swing and you know drink a glass of wine and just didn't have kind of this m a picture of what she wanted life to look and feel like and yet in this moment she had no savings she had debt she was in this really expensive um place and her, and her life just wasn't set up for that she was living in this accidental life and so we got the vision board uh 
because she's a realtor, the irony is, right, as she was showing houses, she tripped over a house that literally, she was like, this is my vision board. This is a few <sighs> months later. And so we, um, hus- we we already had been building to help her to hustle and, and start better sales practices. So one of her core things that she's now been doing for four years straight is she has to reach out to five past clients, five humans really a day. So whether it's referral partners, past clients, new people, old friends from high school and elementary school, you name it. She needs to talk to five humans a day. She tracks it in a tracker every single day. And this is how she's built momentum in her business. And so anyways, she ends up having enough money saved to do a down payment. And I think this home ended up, it was such a fixer upper. And I think it was $95,000. I was, she, she lives in, a, in, in Wisconsin, so very inexpensive state. But, and um, so we, we scrapped that money together for her down payment after doing all of her sales consistency. Um, so fast forward, she was then um, you know, able to move into this house able to keep working to build to get that money to renovate it to build that gorgeous uh, porch that she wanted. She was able to pay off all of her debt. She had about $50,000 of credit card debt. She was able to pay that off to zero simply because she kept hustling in her business. So we didn't just stop and pray that her credit cards would pay off. No, (laughs) we, we picked up the pace. We talked to more people. We kept hustling consistently her five reach outs. And then, um, she, continues to have best year after best year. Um, She now out of 250 agents in her office, she's only, I guess now six years in, she's number three in her office in production. She, um, she already this year to date in in the first five months of this year has closed more business um, than she had closed, obviously that, that first year that we, we worked together and um, it's just phenomenal. So all that to say, she then um, now that house is her income property. She's been able to buy now another home, rent that home out as an income property. And she's now on her new vision board as an income property she wants in Florida. So it's like, we hit one benchmark and then we can go to the next and go to the next. But if she had never taken that step to dream what she wanted, she might've been stuck in debt and in an expensive lease and complaining about life for the last four years. And instead she chose to clarify it, the beliefs, habits, consistency. And now she's into her second vision board because uh, she completed everything in the first one. That's amazing. And, and I know it's true because uh, in fact, Cheryl just commented, I'm eternally grateful for Lauren LaForge and she helped me bought, she has helped me uh, both personally and professionally. Amazing resource. Highly recommended working with her if you can. So, and I feel the same way. I mean, like we talked yesterday in our session um, in the last six months, I mean, where Purse Strings has gone has really been a lot of traction and, and of catapulting right to the next um, level, right? And so, Lauren, what do you do when people lose their momentum? Because I think that's the hardest Mm. part. I have a whip. No, I'm kidding. I'm totally joking. (laughs) No. Um, Yeah. So this is the thing I find is really powerful. Oftentimes when we lose momentum, it's because we've lost sight of our vision. Mm -hmm. And there's a really cool phrase, and it says, the clarity of of your vision. um, No, the (laughs) stress. The... um, because this, the clarity of your vision provides the strength of your endurance. And so we get that ability to in, to be strong and to keep going because that is typically the hardest part is when we lose that momentum, we lose that faith, we're, we're in the middle of, of what we're doing, we're in the middle of our journey and we're like, I just can't do it. I can't keep calling five people. I can't keep waking up at five a.m. to go to this darn networking event, right? We get that exhaustion because we don't fully see the results yet but we're halfway, we're, we're there, we're building momentum, but it's not quite there yet. And that's when it's so important. That's why we wanna have this vision board because we wanna be able to and have it where you see it. My vision board's on the desktop of my computer. It's on my phone. Every time I get a text, I look at the vision board. I'm like, oh, what yeah. I, catamaran, that's lovely. Um, so it, and all, those moments uh, help us to re-energize. So I just encourage you, when you're feeling low in momentum, it's a perfect indication to say either one, I haven't looked at my vision board in a while, or two, may, may, what, I mean, two, maybe you haven't made one yet. So I highly encourage you. It only takes like an hour to make a vision board. It not, doesn't take too long. Um, and then, or step three, maybe your vision board is missing something. If it's not making you excited, take that moment to slow down and think, what do I really want in life? 
and um, tap into that, that, what you're passionate about and what you're working yeah. towards. Yeah, and you'll be pleased to know my vision boards right here. I see it every day, every time I look. Yeah, look up, there it is. Um, so it. Lauren, tell us where you're coming to us from today. Yeah, great question. So, um, I like I said, my dream was I wanted to be able to live around the world. And so pre-pandemic, um, we had the chance, we were, I was able to, and I was able to work and run my business the whole time, which to me was exactly what I wanted. I love the stimulation of the work I do. I wanted to have consistent income, but I wanted to not miss out on having adventures. And so um, so we were living in um, Southern Spain. We spent time in Greece, islands off Spain, like Mallorca, uh, time in the in the UK, islands off of Portugal, time, time in Portugal, time in Italy and in France and, um, and Latvia and, and, and all over. Um, and then we always would spend our summers in South America. So in Uruguay, which is my husband's home country. But when the pandemic hit, uh, we actually came to Uruguay for a birthday party um, and then the world stopped. So we stayed here. So I am in South America um, looking out over the, the ocean is always, I always rent Airbnbs with an ocean view uh, simply because that is the version of life that I, I like to live. And, um, and so, yeah, so that's, that's where I am today is I'm, I'm down in, in South America and Uruguay looking out towards the Antarctica, I guess, if I looked up close enough now. <laughs> Yeah. And, and so there you go. You had a vision. You didn't want to go back to the cement world of uh, L.A. or wherever you were going. You wanted mm -hmm. to be where you wanted to be. And look where you land. I mean, when you show me sometimes your view when we're in coaching sessions, it's usually that some beautiful, amazing pool overlooking an ocean or something <laughs> with a glass of wine. I'm like, wait a yeah. minute. It's crazy. <laughs> And we're all, yes. and if, if you, what's your Instagram handle? I know we didn't include yeah, it. Yeah, my Instagram is just Heist from Chicago. I love all the people who've, who've hopped on here. Um, yeah. SoCal, all these good people. Yeah, so my Instagram is just at Lauren LaForge. So my first and last name, pretty simple. And um, and yeah, I, I've, I've tracked my journey. So I, I, I laugh. I don't know social media very well, but I had this great 18 year old. <laughs> who um, said you need to? This is amazing what you're doing. You need to track this. So I've I've tracked our our journey from the last few years um, on Instagram. So if you'd like to see some fun photos and adventures of places um, that I've been able to work from, and uh, and then obviously you can check out. I'd encourage you to check out my website as well. It's laurenlaforge.com. But there you can actually put in your information. Um, you know the contact. If you're someone who's like, you know, I'm really sick of living a life that I don't feel like I love. I feel like I'm living in repeat. I feel like I'm stuck. I'm unmotivated, especially a lot of us after this year, right? Lockdown, that's yeah. been so intense. And so it's like, okay, what is next? What's next for you? What's your next stage of life? Um, and so I encourage you put your info in there and then um, I can send you information about the next mastermind that we're launching. And it'd be wonderful to have you be a part of it to help you with other women get unstuck yeah. and, and, and get rolling into your next version of life. Awesome. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. She speaks from which she knows. So I'm so yeah. <laughs> glad to have you here today, Lauren. Um, and uh, yeah, she's part of our Purse Strings Approved Professionals. So you can reach out and see her there as well. And she comes a million times, highly recommended. So, so glad you're here today to share your story and your four-step process and share how we can get a hold of you and um, be part of your yeah. Lauren LaForge team. <laughs> yes. Fantastic. And that is, that's my goal is I just, uh, my, my heart goes out to who I was, uh, you know, eight years ago, feeling, feeling stuck in life. I remember driving, and I, hopefully no one's felt this, but I remember driving on the freeway in LA an awful track, two directions and being like, what if I just swerved in the other lane? You know, those moments where you're just like, what else is there in life? If this is all life is, it's not worth mm -hmm. living, right? You know, those moments where you're just like, ugh. And I just, I, I guess I get infuriated. And I had $60,000 of debt from other startups I had had from previous businesses. And debt is suffocating. And so if anyone on the other side feels that with debt or or out of shape or not feeling like you have purpose in life um, or not loving where you live and what you're surrounded, what your community is like, these are all things that we can change. You're not, um, you know, stuck. That is, that is not something that is unchangeable. Those are all things that we can change. So let's change them and live the life that we want. We have, we have one life to live. So let's That's not waste right. any more time. 
I love it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, cool. Lauren. It's been great as usual. And um, we will see you all here next week, um, Thursday at noon as usual in um, our Facebook group. So bring your girlfriends, bring your loved ones, bring all the women in your life to join us. We'd love to have you. And we want to give you thanks, Lauren. Yes, absolutely. And I just want to do, I have a one little offer is that if oh. anyone writes me, you know, today or in the next, in the next few days, um, I will give you a complimentary vision session, which essentially is me coaching you through creating what that vision is. Sometimes it's hard to vision, visualize what we want. So I just want to say for purse strings, um, uh, folks who have been able to hear this message today, reach out and I will gladly gift you a session with vision just so that you can help yourself realize, realize what is next. Yeah. I cool. love it. Thank you, Lauren, for that offer. You guys who's out there should take advantage of it because she's amazing. So thank you. Awesome. We'll talk next time. Bye. Okay, bye, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. Bye.